Cinematic Studio Solo Strings uses the same GUI design as our full section library, which means all of the functions are available as soon as you load a patch. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the main features to help you get started, and I'd also recommend reading the manual, which covers everything in more detail. Vibrato sustains will be selected by default when you load a patch, and you can change to any other articulation via the matrix in the middle. Either select a tile with a mouse or use any of the default key switches as listed in the top corner of each tile. To change the key switch assignment, simply hold shift and click on a tile, and then press the key on your keyboard you want to assign to that articulation. To unload an articulation from RAM, hold alt and click on any of the articulations you don't need. The memory indicator will update accordingly. Dynamics for long note articulations, sustain, tremolo, harmonics, and trills are all controlled via the mod wheel. Dynamics for the short notes, staccato, pizzicato, and measured tremolo are controlled by velocity. Marcato's dynamics are controlled with a combination of both mod wheel and velocity. When using the sustains, vibrato can be switched on or off via CC2. On the lower left side is the microphone mixer. The mix mic is selected by default when you load a patch. This is a stereo mix of all three mic distances and will work for most of your music while saving on RAM. But it's not uncommon to boost the close mic in solo string work, especially when you want to hear it above the rest of the orchestra. Click on the switches below each fader to load in the separate mics and route the close mic separately to the room mic so that you can automate it when you need to. When you choose staccato or pizzicato, you'll see this short note switch appear. This allows you to use the mod wheel to select the various short note types. The switch itself can be reassigned to another controller by right clicking on the mod wheel graphic. The config screen allows you to change the other options like the reassignment of controllers for dynamic crossfade, the vibrato on off switch, and portamento velocity. This is set to 20 by default, which means that any new legato note triggered at a velocity less than 20 will trigger a portamento slide. Please note that when vibrato is switched off, portamento slides cannot be triggered. The key switch CC can be used to trigger any function within the library. Simply set the CC to any of the following values to trigger the corresponding function. The key switch CC is a very useful feature and allows you to skip around your track freely without having to worry about where each key switch is in your piece. Thanks for watching. Please don't hesitate to send us an email if you have any questions about the library. Cheers. See you next time.